All right, everybody. Happy Friday. We're going to start ourselves off with one minute of cardio. So let's go ahead and uh, either we're going to jog in place, we're going to do our burpees, we're going to run. I mean, any anything that you want to do, I'll set my clock. All right, everybody. We are going to start ourselves off with one minute of cardio. After that, we are going to grab a dumbbell, a kettlebell, any choice of weight that you want to swing. And we're going to do 10 Russian kettlebell swings. And then once we're done with 10, for the remaining of those four of the minute, you're going to do sit-ups. So we're going to do a four-minute EMOM. So the next minute, you'll get up, do your kettlebell swings again, and then go ahead and do as many sit-ups as, as you can in the remaining of the minute. All right, any questions on that part, you guys? Pretty straight. Are you working us through the time? Walk you through every single minute. Okay. All right, we've got that set. All right, my friends, here we go. Thumbs up for our Friday morning. All right, three, two, one, and let us begin. Here we go, one minute of your choice of cardio. We are just doing anything to get that heart rate up. Scott, there you we Russian swings are. What's that? Can you remind me what that move is, the Russian Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. We're going to grab the, the, the dumbbell, and we'll have it right in front of us, Chris. And we're literally going to pull it underneath our body. Swing it. Kind of like that pendulum going back and forth. And we won't go above our, uh, our, our head. We'll just pretty much keep it at eyesight, if, if not chest sight. Okay. Right. All right, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, whoa, two, one. And Russian dumbbell swing. We are going to do 10, right? Really focus on standing up, squeezing them glutes, squeezing them quads. That is what is essentially getting that bell moving. All right, Kelsey, we're right into those kettle or dumbbell swings. All right. Once you guys are done with those swings, go right into your sit-ups for the remaining of the minute. Good morning, Adair. Good morning. All right, 20 seconds, everybody, just moving. And again, we're warming up, right? So you're just kind of waking your body up, waking your mind up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, everybody, let's step right back up to those dumbbells. And we are going to go ahead and do another set of 10 Russian dumbbell swings. Just nice and easy, everybody. Get that tempo. And then once we're done with this piece, we'll go right back into those sit-ups. Many? You're just going to keep on doing sit ups for the remaining of the minute. Now, how many do swings? 10. Oops. Hey, bonus. Bonus points. All right. 10 seconds, everybody. All right. Three, two, one, and go ahead and rotate right back to those swings again. All right, nice and easy. Again, just finding that tempo, blowing that air out the top of that swing. All right, here we go. So 
So on Monday, I know that you guys are all doing sit-ups right now. How many of you guys are going to be here on Monday morning? Me. All right. I, I heard of me. Three, Eva. two, one, and here we go. Right back to one more set. And I think Adair raised her hand, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe. 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 There might be some good fishing going on on Memorial Day. There might be. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have 30 seconds left of this minute where we'll just be doing sit ups. <laughs> Well, happy Friday, everybody. Five seconds to our sit-ups. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, you guys, grab that water, you guys. And then we are going to talk about our first piece. Three very familiar movements we've been doing before. We've got deadlifts. We have hang power cleans. And then we have up downs. So the way the workout's going to be set up, you guys, is we are going to be doing three sets of those six deadlifts, the eight dumbbell hang cleans, and then the ten up downs. Now there's we're gonna ex we're not going to exceed ten minutes of work because what we're going to do is we're going to rest in between each set. Um. So let's do this, you guys, as we are uh, kind of talking about it already, let's go ahead and do a little mobility. So we feel, uh, I know we're already warmed up a little bit, but let's go ahead. We're gonna go into the good old fashioned pigeon position, you guys. Uh, we're just gonna step out that right foot and we're gonna square it down. And as you square that front foot in front of you, just go ahead and put your left hand on your foot so it doesn't move at all. And then that back leg is going to just, you know, reach back and relax. Let's hang out here for a little bit. So the way it's going to set be set up again, you guys, we're doing three sets. We're doing six deadlifts eight hang power cleans, 10 up downs, with as much rest in between as you'd like, okay? Go ahead and swap sides. In that push-up position, bring that left knee up, bring the foot across the square, and then let that back leg just again relax. All right, go into this nice and easy, you guys. And just really kind of maybe sit those hips back. If you need a little bit of extra stretch, you can always lean over your left shoulder or even your right shoulder to get another stretch. All right, go ahead and slowly, slowly come out of here. This is something that you guys could do for essentially two to four minutes on each side. All right, so let's go over this really quick. We're going to go over our dumbbell. And with the dumbbells, you guys, we can either be outside of our feet. So as we hinge at the hips and then we lean forward and keep them back flat, we can keep – the tips of the dumbbells on the outside of our feet, or we can even kind of widen up the base just a little bit and then put the dumbbells in between our feet. I said, I feel like I get a better uh, hamstring kind of, I feel like my mobility is a little bit better in between my feet, but let's go ahead and do this. You guys, let's go ahead and do five deadlifts on your own. You got to hinge at the hip. 
and then go ahead and get the dumbbells to touch the deck. So let's get five of those. I like the in between the feet, especially if it's hard to get to the deck, if it's hard for you to keep a flat back um, doing dumbbell deadlifts, because sometimes keeping the dumbbells outside of the feet create a little difficulty. What are you going to do? Uh, well, you say get to the deck, which suggests I should use the dumbbells. Yeah. yeah, and you could, I mean, you guys could use kettlebells. You guys really could do whatever you want. Okay. If you have a kettlebell option, I, I, I personally would do a kettlebell option. For example, like we did those high, high pulls the other day with the, with the single dumbbell yesterday. Mm -hmm. See, I have a lighter dumbbell and I was able to do those and that was better. It just felt better. All right. So the next movement, are we okay with deadlifts, you guys, or do we need any options? You feel good with that? I won't do that. Okay. Okay. All right. So with the hand clean, you guys, we can keep the dumbbells. Again, I, I kind of like let it hang low. And so it kind of hangs at the, the back part of the dumbbell. Um, but I go ahead, I'm going to keep it right here. And I somewhat like swing it with a, sh with a shrug and then I'll catch it. And then I'll stand right on up. Right. So if I can hinge at the hips as I lean forward and I jump it with a shrug, you want. catch with a little bit of a pause, and then you can stand right back up. That seems to be the most efficient way to really get that movement For the hang. Up down, up to opposed you. to just bicep curling to the see. dumbbells. So let's do five of those. I mean... <laughs> You know, and uh, and an alternative again, you guys, is going to be between your legs. You can do the same exact thing, pull it between your legs, jump and shrug, catch it. My legs on this move. And it tends to be like on a heavier level. When the dumbbell is a little heavier for me, between my legs feels a little bit better. But again, just kind of go what feels best today. But definitely get that jump and that shrug is what's going to get those dumbbells in the rack position, not your bicep curl, okay? And then from there, you guys, let's go all do this together. Let's do five up-downs. Let's just go ahead and reach for the deck. Jump out or step out. Jump up or step up. Stand right back up and then repeat that. Keeping that midsection real tight. There we go. Getting five of those. Perfect. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead. Let's move right back to those dumbbells. Maybe grab some water if you need to. But we are going to start this set. Again, we're going to start off with six deadlifts hang uh eight hang power cleans and then 10 up downs catch your breath when you're ready to jump into the next set let's go ahead and jump into the next set all right you guys let's go ahead and move towards those dumbbells let's start set one now and we will begin so it's deadlifts first chris so we're going to start on the deck, touching the dumbbell off the deck. There we go. And then what you could do is you can have the dumbbells kind of, uh, kind of fall through your hands. So the back part of the dumbbell touches your hand, Chris. And then you can, yeah, there you go. Just touch the tips of the dumbbells to the floor. Nice. Nice. That big jump and that shrug is gonna get those dumbbells on top of your shoulders. There we go. Yeah, how am I doing this? I'm good. There you go. I like it. Nice job. Nicely done. Once you get all the way done with those cleans, you have your up downs. Ah. 
There we go. There you go, Philip. Working that single dumbbell, loving it. There we go. There we go. Nice, Dan. Remember, if we can, touching those dumbbells on the floor, super huge, we get, especially for uh, flexibility. On the hang clean? No, 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 for the deadlift. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nice. I'll tell you what, your dumbbell cleans everybody is looking, they're looking great. Uh, I have things that hurt too. Remember, take your time, you guys, through all these movements, through the sets. If you need more rest than normal, just take the time, hang out. So a part in strength, you know, even though we have it as three sets and we do have, you know, rest is needed, we're not rushing through this, you know? Sometimes, sometimes that first set, you just have to really go through slow, especially as your body's waking up, as the body's kind of loosening up. And you might do this through the whole entire three sets and that's totally fine. I mean, you guys can you guys can answer this kind of as you guys feel fit. But is are your guys' cores feeling a little bit stronger? Oh yeah, tons. Yeah, good. Okay, good. This is also, yes and. Yes. We've been working our shoulders so much. We, we gotta get those, uh, those arms and guns back to Michelle Obama there. I think I got there. I love it. I know I was gonna say something about that. I was like, I, they're looking familiar. <laughs> We're doing three sets? Yeah, three total sets. Where are we on time? Uh, we're good. We're like five minutes, so we got time. Okay. Yeah, slow down as much as you need. If you want to take a full two-minute break in between a set, you know, by all means. I've already done three. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Kelsey, you look like you're done, too. Perfect. Yeah. Like I said, we don't want to go over 10, 10 minutes, but I think it's going to go faster. Eva, are you done also? Yes, I'm done too. Uh, all right, cool. So if you guys aren't, aren't finished yet, no rush at all. We're going to hang out here for a couple minutes until we're all done together. What do you guys got going for uh, for Memorial Day weekend? Any any, uh, <laughs> any big plans? No, Eva, staying home. Same old, same old. Same old, yeah. Kelsey, what are you doing? Right now or this weekend? Yeah, for the weekend. 
Oh, we're chilling. We just got home from a two week adventure. So we're, we're staying put. Good for you. Oh. What about you, we're, Stan? We're, we're planning on going um, Eastern Washington uh, in a, a Rainier Mountain. Uh, right on. The thing is that we are not sure we want to do that and we're trying to cancel. And that's why I was not sure if I would be able to come on Monday. Okay. If we cancel, I will be there. If awesome. we are in the mountain, I'll skip. Okay. Okay. What about you, Philip? We're going to go for a hike probably tomorrow and on Monday as well. Beautiful. Dan and Adair? I don't know. I might go fishing. <laughs> How is the fish go? All right, Chris, what about you? I'm having a socially appropriately distant barbecue with Dan and Adair's, hopefully. Yeah. Love it. Very um, cool. And then if we can convince my husband with their help, fishing. Ooh. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> you don't get to use your knees. Right. You <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, let's do this. Let's talk about our full body sprint today. So we're going to have three, five EMOMs, right? So the EMOM is every minute on the minute. Um, and I say that every time and I break it down every time because I tend to forget that I start talking this language or we start talking this language and some people are like, what the heck is an EMOM and an AMRAP? And anyways, so every minute on the minute, you guys, for five minutes, we're going to have three segments, okay? The first one, you guys, is going to be 45 seconds of up-down. You rest the remaining of the minute. And then we'll go right back into another set of up downs. Okay, so we do that for five total sets. Then we're gonna rest two minutes. And then we're gonna go into the max dumbbell Hank power cleans. Okay, we'll do that for 45 seconds, rest 15 seconds. And we'll again, we'll go back and forth for five full minutes, rest two minutes. And then we'll go into our last five minute EMOM, which is going to be uh, renegade rows. So that's one thing that I want to go over before we get into it. Now, the way that we're going to score this is we're going to just keep track of all of our reps. Okay. So I did put in a note that we're not going to add a push up into the renegade row, but I decided, you know what? We're elite. We're definitely going to do some push ups in that. Okay. <laughs> I feel, I feel it's appropriate, okay? Um, yeah, so, uh, all right, let's go over it real quick. Make sure that we are all on the same page. So when it comes to Renegade Rose, uh, we preferably are gonna be on our toes, right? That's gonna be what we wanna do. If we need to be on our knees, again, that's gonna be totally okay also. But a Renegade Row is where we are going to row the opposite side as this side stays grounded, right? So we're pushing that into the floor. We'll then rotate that, that weight, pull, center, and then we'll go right down into that push-up, okay? If we, need to, if we need to be on the knees, those are cool also here, here, and then again, right back down to the deck. So think about it, you're in a push-up position. Each side's gonna do a row, then we'll do a push-up, then we'll go ahead and keep on continuing. So each of those segments will equal one, okay? So left, right, push-up, one rep, okay? So let's do this, you guys. Let's get on the floor really quick. I, I just wanna go through like three of these together. Make sure that we feel good. Okay. Okay. What, what is the elegant solution with one dumbbell for the renegade row? Yeah, so this is gonna actually be a cool one for you, Philip. It'll take a little bit extra time, but that's okay. So one hand's gonna be on the dumbbell, one hand's gonna be on the deck. We're gonna row. You'll actually kind of swap off, row, 
Uh, get rid of the dumbbell, Philip. The 15, some go to the 12. Or all of do a regular push up. <laughs> or you can even do a push up with the dumbbell in one of the hands, Philip, just to be, you know, have a little bit of a different angle, too, to hit that pec. And you'll be doing that on each side. So it'll be a good combination. Yeah, good one, man. All right. So I will tell you, renegade rows are awesome. And you're going to they're exhausting. Yeah, but it's so good. It's totally good, though. You're going to start with 25 or you're going to start with 15? Well, clean 25s. Right. Okay. So the movements, guys and ladies, are going to be up downs, rest, hang power cleans, rest, renegade rows. We're yeah. done with that segment. All right, everybody. So once you guys are all set, give me that thumbs up. Just let me know you guys are good. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I think we lost Stan. All right. All right. Oh, there you are, Stanny. All right. Well, here we go, everybody. We are going to go ahead. Let me reset our clock. We're going to go ahead and start with up downs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, guys. So let's pace ourselves through this whole segment. All right. Again, we don't want to blow our. Uh, self out in round one of our up downs we want to try to keep the consistent number okay so again we're working for 45 seconds maybe the goal is to get to 10 15 20 whatever your goal is and then let's try to replicate that every single round all right we are we have five seconds Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And rest. All right, so that's set one. Again, we're keeping track of all of our reps. Three, two, one. And here we go. Back into our second set. I mean, I love burpees, you guys, but there's something about this up then I really do like. It feels a lot more crisper. Yes. Feels, you know, it feels really, it's like a strong position. Ten seconds. Three, two, one and rest. All right. Three, two, one, and here we go. Back into another set of up down. Ah. Here we go. Me. Remember, stepping up or jumping up. The big thing, you guys, is that we come up on our feet, right? Not our toes, our feet. So our heels are making contact with the deck as we step up or we jump up. All right, 10 seconds, everybody. Three. Two, one, and rest. All right, five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, and here we go. Now, another way of thinking about max reps in any type of a workout is Staying moving, that is another way of looking at it. Staying in motion, not rushing yourself, staying in motion. All right, we have 15 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest. Is the knee bugging you, Adair? Yep. Yeah? Did you roll it out? All right, everybody, here we go. Begin. One more segment of up downs. Just think about stepping up that knee, maybe, Adair. Well, that's how it does it. Once it torques, it's hard to untorque. Okay. All right, we have 20 seconds, everybody. Okay, we're almost there. Remember, after we're done with this segment, we have a two minute break. Three, two, one, and take a break. All right, everybody, walk around. Make sure we write down our numbers. We're gonna put all of our numbers together at the end. So just kind of take your mental note, write it down on a piece of paper. So one of the things, this will be our kind of our, our interact, interaction period for the two minutes is, you know, what are you grateful for today? So that's gonna be our, uh, our minute of gratitude, everybody. So. Uh -huh. Once you come up with your uh, your answer, by all means, go ahead and unmute yourself if you're muted, and then shout it off. Shout it loud. You don't have to shout it, by the way. I'm just joking. Health in my job. Health in your job. Thanks, Adair. Healthy family. Healthy family. Oh, yeah. A good night's sleep. Ooh, love it. What about you, Chris? All those things, but I really love where we live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. I'm 100% with you. What about you, Chris? Yeah, health, health and that we're, we're still able to work in terms of we've got jobs that allow us to and my mom's on the east coast and she's doing well and yep. doing, might may not be in close so that's that's good that's all good. awesome what about you stan i don't think you can hear me <laughs> well i'll tell you what guys i am super grateful oh there's stan there you go what are you grateful for stan Uh oh, you're unmuted again. Okay. There you go. Can you hear me now? Okay. So I was saying that I'm grateful to all the people around me. Mm, that's and good, I'm man. I'm blessed to have them around me. I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm super grateful, guys, for the the ability for this to happen. This is a this is a big deal for me. So, um, super grateful for uh, Zoom. Super grateful for uh, willing to kind of think outside the box for you guys to kind of work out on a video. So, all right, the clock is getting close. So here we go, you guys. We are going to do our dumbbell hang power cleans. And Dara, if we just want to go strict presses, just to not have any knee kind of bending going on, we could do that or push-ups, well, we're about to do those, or sit-ups, or anything that's gonna cannot kind of twist on the knee at all. Uh, maybe I'll do sit-ups for change. Right. We're perfect. Going we're all perfect. the way up? No, What's just that? hang power cleans. Just, just hang, yeah, hang power cleans, everybody. Remember, the dumbbells will not go below your knees. Sure. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one and here we go we are into our next five minute segment we are going to do as many hang power cleans or sit-ups in the 45 seconds and then you are going to rest it's all about the 
jump in the shrug. And as you jump, you really want to make sure that you feel the heels as much as the balls of the feet. And then that shrug is what's going to get those dumbbells moving. There we go. All right, everybody. We are there. Three, two, one, and rest. Dan, you didn't have a chance to say, what are you grateful for? What's that? What did you say you were grateful for? My youngest granddaughter who learned to stand up yesterday. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, here we go. Another set of dumbbells. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, I'm not a grandparent, but I can only imagine how awesome that is. Yeah. All right, guys, go right back into it. There we go. All right, everybody, we have five seconds. Three, two, rest. All right, write those numbers down. All right, next set is three, two, one, and begin. Yeah, for you guys that did yesterday's workout, whew, that last set of dumbbell thrusters and snatches, that was awesome. Something we did was hard on those hands and my back. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get you, I'll give you that one, definitely. Um, those, I mean, those snatches, I mean, the thrusters felt good on my legs. My legs, man, I felt those legs after a while, but those snatches definitely felt like that, that I was getting those, uh, the back muscles, the back and the hamstrings, everything going. Three, two, one, and rest. I, uh, I pulled some carpet yesterday and it was all glued to the ground, like a lot. And that felt like three really hard workouts after I was done. Three, two, and here we go. Like I was resting like I just got done with a really hard workout, like dripping sweat like nobody's business. There we go. All right, we have 20 seconds, you guys. Nice and easy. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we have one more segment, you guys, and then we are going to have another two minute rest. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Your ribs still bugging you, Adair? What? Are your ribs still bugging you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. All right, 20 seconds. Do they feel like they're getting better at all? Um, yeah. Just slow. Yeah. All right, five seconds, you guys. We're almost there. Three, two, one. All right, rest. Good job. Okay, so we have another two minutes. And then the last five minute segment, everybody, is going to be those renegade rows. So again, you know, just moving around, walking, walking around. Okay. 
Does anybody have a Memorial Day tradition that you tend to do normally just kind of on this weekend coming up? That we had it that way? What? We told me it was our anniversary. Yeah. Our Memorial Day tradition is to celebrate our anniversary. Well, happy anniversary. Let's see, what year was it? It was 2009. So this is 11. Nice. You guys got married the the year that Stoneway opened up. Oh. Ah, well, nice. even on a very nerdier level, we actually, before we were in Stoneway, the month of May, Scott started this boot camp in the park. Huh. I remember that. I've seen a lot of pictures. Yeah, it was, it was very uh, underground. Not underground, but it was like, hey, okay, so bring two, a set of dumbbells. Bring a mat. Essentially what we're doing right now. Right. And uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., guys. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. And then my current employer did not, uh, was not too full on about that. So he pulled me into his office. He was actually a new guy. Well, he's the guy that hired me. He left to work for another company, came back. And then told me that I couldn't do, I couldn't be a trainer at the gym and I couldn't do the morning and late night boot camps. So he was like, so what are you going to do? And I was like, oh, shoot. Um, I guess today's my last day. <laughs> so then I text Katie and I said, yeah. So, and I was like, I really hope I don't have to come back to this guy. <laughs> I didn't hear that story before. So that's how you went independent, huh? Yeah, he, he then followed up by saying, so what are you going to do when I come knocking on your door and say we need a divisional manager? And I, he's like, um, I guess ask somebody else, you know? <laughs> All right, 30 seconds, everybody. <laughs> you never heard that one, Adair? No, I never heard that. Oh. Did you know that the boot camp at all was 100% women. There was no dudes at all. I know. Wasn't Cheryl in there and um, Terry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was Bev in there? No, no. No, Bev didn't come until uh, Dravis. All right, everybody. We are at that point. Five seconds. Picture up yesterday on Facebook. And... And again, I saw the regional team picture yesterday up on Facebook. Mm. I just want to make sure everybody on the video knows that Scott was competed in the regional CrossFit games with some of the other coaches one year. And we Thank were you. scrappy. We were the scrappy little mom and pop <laughs> outfit that made it to the regional games. And that is very true. Fill the pack. <laughs> Great. Thank you for sharing that. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, our last five minute segment, and we are done with the workout. We do have a finisher, but this is our last five minute segment. Yeah, that was by far, Adair, one of my uh, really exciting times, I would say, in my uh, career. <laughs> There was like two days you felt like a really big deal in like a, a sporting event. You guys were great. Yeah. Carla got her first handstand push up. Of her life. Of her life. And then she became this like more incredible athlete. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Shake those arms out, you guys. Definitely be moving around. <clears throat> Gotta chalk those hands up, Chris. Three, two, yeah. one, and begin. Here we go. Another set. Remember, you had a row on the left, a row on the right, and then a push up. The push up is definitely a new addition. I before I had only done renegade rows with no push up, but adding that definitely spices up our life a little bit. So. Again, pick a number in your head, 
go for that number. And then once you guys get there, even if 45 seconds hasn't showed up yet, call that good. Like keep yourself, give yourself a goal. Cause like you want to do something over and over again, three, two, one and rest. Is the Niles hurting you to be on in the friction? It's sweaty palms, but with these dumbbells, I'm like. <laughs> Three, two, one, and here we go. Yeah, on a random note, we were watching the, uh, what is it, the Mount Mandalorian, and I was sitting next to Maddox, and it was getting kind of like a ner nervous time. It was kind of getting scary a little bit. He's like, my hands, they're getting sweaty, Dad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ten seconds. Two. One and rest. Okay. Two more segments of this, you guys. Three, two, one, and here we go. Nice. Remember, keeping that midsection braced, especially in that push-up, flex. And then every time that you do that row, definitely brace that midsection. Ten seconds. Yep. Three, two, and rest. Nice job, you guys. All right, one more set. Three, two, one, and here we go. All right, last set of these Renegade rows. After we're done with these 45 seconds, we will then move uh, into the part where we'll add up all of our repetitions and then we'll go ahead, put them in the comment section and then we'll do our, our finisher. So here we go, guys. We're almost there. Keep moving. Keep fighting for that number. Now in this last segment, you guys, I want you to goal, your goal is to beat your last set's number. So if you got... 10, let's try to see if we can get 11. Come on. Almost there, we got five, four, three, two, and rest. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Way to move, way to go. All right, so let's go ahead. Once you're done, again, shake those arms out, get up, move around. Let's go ahead and put your uh, total repetitions in the comment section. So one thing this really does is for the people that are watching this on the replay is it gives you an idea kind of where people are at, right? It's super helpful to see what's possible for when we do a workout, if you see somebody else do a workout. And that's like the power of really anything. If you see that it's totally a capable thing that can be accomplished, at that point, you're, then your brain says, well, I can do that. You know, and so the moment we can do that is the moment that we definitely can uh, kind of excel a lot further than we actually personally would, would give us the credit to excel in that way. <clears throat> All right, guys. So again, make sure you guys get your numbers in the comment section. Even if you didn't, you know, get your totals, that's fine, right? We'll put a happy uh, smiley face. Um, if you're on your phone, maybe you can do a fun emoji. Um, all right, so the next part, you guys, is going to be our finisher. It's five minutes, and we'll be five minutes, and we'll be out. Um, and we're going to be doing glute bridges and some, some V-ups, all right, and alternating V-ups. I'll tell you what, I love uh, demoing alternating V-ups opposed to regular V-ups. 
So sometimes I don't feel like I'm going to get a full V up. Um, but let's do this, you guys. We are going to go a regular glute bridge up like we've done before. Five inch. Just so we're on the same page. Yeah, you know, back's going to be on the deck. Hands can either be to your side or on your, on your stomach. But we're just going to lift those hips up. And your hamstrings are going to feel lit up, especially if they're tender. But again, we're just going to go up and down. Now for the alternating V up, we'll be flat on the ground. My left hand is then going to reach up for my right toe. I'll come back down and going for my left toe. And we're going to go right back and forth. So we're getting, again, a little bit more of that transverse motion that we speak about where we get a little bit of a twisting of the spine. So for five minutes, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to climb a ladder. So we're going to do two glute bridges, yeah. two alternating V-ups, but, but four Scott, glute bridges. I don't think you were alternating your legs, were you? You were supposed to Yeah, I was. OK, that's good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's kind of like this. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see him doing that. All right. Um, and then what we'll do, we're just going to go up in increments of two, right? Two glute bridges, two alternating V-ups. And with the alternating V-ups, you guys, just, just go ahead and count each leg that you touch as one, right? So we'll go two alternating V-ups, one left, one right. And then the next set will go eventually alternating again, but eventually we get two on each side. Cool. All right. All right, you guys, here we go. Last five minute segment of the morning. Three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to start with glute bridges and then we're going to go right into V ups. And we're just going to go back and forth for five minutes. <sighs> Yep, and just think of it, guys. Think of this kind, this time right now as a skill session, right? We're not really rushing. I know we have a ladder that we're climbing, but think of it as a skill session, right? And another alternative, you guys, if we can't come up on the tailbone or kind of like we can't come up and alternate, then another thing would be alternating sit-ups. So we'll be straight-legged if possible, and we'll come up reach across your body to the opposite side, right? My left arm's gonna go to my right toe or my shin or my knee, whatever your flexibility allows you. And then we'll come down and we'll do the opposite. There we go. The other thing I'm super grateful for today, you guys, is I make a fire in the morning and sometimes my fires do not set very well. And I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm a pretty good fire maker too. But today, man, that sucker got roaring and it got roaring super fast. So super grateful for that. All right, everybody, we are two minutes in. <laughs> Dare, I just read your comment on the numbers that you did. I dared it a lot. <laughs> there we go. Now, it's kind of interesting. You guys are never actually uh, prompted to type in a password, are you? You guys can just click the button and it goes right into this room, right? Yes. Yeah. It's weird. I'll like, I'll send this link to somebody like, and I'll actually do kind of my conferences in here, my phone calls in here. Um, and they're like, ah, I can't get in there. It's asking for a password. Any, anybody know why that yeah, happened? The, the password is embedded in the link. 
Oh. So when I send it to somebody else, why can't they see it? Um, you can see it if you know how to look at the code. Oh. So for each meeting, you have different settings. And sometimes the settings can get changed to where you have to turn off that yeah. all participants need a password. Yes. Oh. Also, you have and a checkbox. Scott, you also have a checkbox if you want to include a password or not. Oh. Also, okay. the other thing is passwords. Uh, there's something new that they added about a month ago. Before okay. that month ago, uh, no links were coming by default with passwords. Since the last month, all the new links come by default with passwords. Gotcha. Because they want to avoid that uh, hopping of random people into meetings. Yeah. So they made it by default. If you have sent the link a month ago, more than a month ago, then it came without the password. Ah. Well, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have one more minute. Nicely done, you guys. 30 more seconds, everybody. <clears throat> There we go, there we go. Yeah, the VF, the, the alternating and the regular VF, they're very hard on my coordination skills. <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys, our last five seconds in three, two, one, and we are done. Ooh. Nicely done, you guys. Um. Be careful with the Zoom meetings, though. Eh? There's some question about what Zoom is actually keeping on file and recorded and stuff. Okay. So I recently moved to financial services, mm -hmm. financial services industry, and they've kind of been researching it. So don't transmit any or even talk about, you know, social security numbers or anything like that. Anything private. Okay. Uh, they're certainly saying we're being guided on not using Zoom for anything that involves that sort of thing. Okay. It's just not clear. Yeah, it's Perfect. actually for almost all of them. I'm yeah. not sure that there is one. Probably Teams might be the one that is a little bit more secure, but all of the others like go to meeting and all of the others, sure. they are just the same. Yeah. We've got Cisco WebEx, which is supposed to be as secure as you can kind of get. So, but I'm huh. sure that description fee and that sort of thing for it. All right. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much, you guys. That's super helpful. There's a new thing out there. Well, it's the rooms, like Facebook's got rooms. Um, I've been interested about that whole thing, how that plays out. But again, it's just like, what's the easiest thing to access for everybody to get on there and whatnot. So, well, let's, uh, let's do our group photo. You guys, thank you again for being here. And, uh, I'll be here Monday morning, you guys. So you you will be a part of my Memorial Morning weekend setup this week. So is there a MRF or anything planned? That's kind of where I'm getting at. So um, I will have like Sugar Wad will say a wad, but I really want to kind of play in the realms of having some version of MRF, like quarantine MRF. Um, on monday so it's running with weights and yeah i i don't know i don't know like what are the moves i forget all the moves besides running with weight a weight this i gotta go scott oh real quick guys let's do a quick photo really quick go in. three two one awesome all right thank thanks, you kelsey. Hey, thanks, thanks, kelsey. Hi, you guys. Um, hi you guys. thank you yeah, so um, what Murph is, you know, it has the run, but it has the pull-ups, the push-ups, um, and the squats. So we might, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect with Rory and kind of we'll we'll kind of coordinate on this one because um, I need to see if he's gonna be uh, able to do the five o'clock for the evening people. Um, but it'll have something of that realm of. So anyway, I'm gonna really try to recreate it because. It is a long one. It is fun. 
but it's a long one, so. And does Rory's, does the five o'clock class do the same, uh, the same rep scheme? Yeah, you? totally. Bye, bye, Eva. Yeah. Bye. Totally. So, all right, you guys. Hey, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Have fun Thanks. hanging out, doing your thing. And I'll see you on yep. Monday. Thanks, guys. Okay, take care. Bye. See you guys.